What's going on, car family? I'm Ben Wayne. Thank you for joining me in another video. Today, we are here at Atlanta Classic Cars, and we're gonna be taking a look at the 2021 Mercedes-AMG GLE 53 4Matic Plus Coupe. This is a design that most people either love or hate. I remember when the GLE first came out, I was prepared to absolutely hate this car, but when I saw it in person, I fell in love with it, and I didn't think I would. Who is this car marketed to? So this is for people who need an SUV, but want something that looks somewhat like a car and also has sharp handling that's more so geared towards a car as opposed to an SUV. This particular model has been finished in a Designo diamond white metallic and features exclusive black Napa leather interior. It is stunning. Now I know a lot of people might think the GLE 53 is just a base model GLE with some trim added to it and then they call it an AMG model. And I know a lot of people are gonna have a lot of heartburn that this doesn't have a handcrafted engine, but this is truly an AMG model. Today we're gonna explain why. So let's go ahead and go through the exterior and interior details and see how this ride has been engineered for excellence. Taking a look at the front of the GLE 53, if you remember the 43 model, this looks way more aggressive than that car did. This is what we should have had the first time. As a matter of fact, I feel sorry for anybody who recently purchased a 43 model and just now saw the 53 come out because the difference is night and day. You have these power bulges in the hood providing a look of aggression. You have the multi-beam LED headlamps, of course, but then you have this Pan Americana grille up front, which is something we missed in the 43 model, and that just makes all the difference from the front of this car. Coming lower, you have a redesigned front apron, and if you look closely, you'll see slits in the front apron that help channel laminar flow over the wheel well while the car is in motion. Let's go ahead and check out the side profile. Now the side profile of the GLE is where you can truly appreciate some of the design aspects of this car. Starting at the front, you have this raked back windshield. Your roof line is tapered, goes lower and lower all the way to the rear of the car. That reminds me of the Mercedes-Benz CLS, another one of my favorite models. Now this particular car has been optioned out with the night package. That's gonna black out your window surrounds and your side view mirrors, giving it a more aggressive look. But that night package also looks awesome with these optional 22 inch matte black AMG cross spoke wheels. Inside those wheels, up front you have brake rotors that are 15.75 inches in diameter internally ventilated and perforated and grasped by six piston calipers. Now in the rear, your brake rotors are gonna be 14.5 inches in diameter and grasped by a single piston floating caliper. Now at the beginning of the video, I mentioned this isn't an AMG just because they threw different bits of trim pieces on the GLE. This is an AMG because it has factors like a fully developed AMG suspension. And at the beginning of the video, I also mentioned that this SUV has been designed to feel more like a car. This is for people who need an SUV, but want something that feels like a car. So how did AMG address that? Well, they lowered the control arms about 0.8 inches or 20 millimeters so that the handling of this vehicle is more on par with a car than an SUV. It is small factors like that that truly set this car apart from the standard GLE. Now taking it a step further, the GLE 53 also features a fully AMG developed rear axle to deal with that additional torque. And you also have the 4Matic Plus all wheel drive system, which features a rear torque bias. Why is it rear torque bias? Because when you drive this car, you wanna feel like you're in something that feels more like a sports car as opposed to an SUV. Let's go ahead and check out the rear. When you take a look at the rear, you see the roof line just slopes perfectly into the hatch. You have full LED tail lamps. Now these LED tail lamps remind me of the coupes in the Mercedes-Benz lineup, such as the CLS and the CLA. Again, this SUV is gonna give you that coupe vibe to it. Now, since this is an SUV, we'll talk about storage. So I'll open the hatch, power open and closing, and you have up to 60 cubic feet of storage. There's tons of storage in this car. Now, what's really nice about this is this shelf. You can pull back on it, and that prevents anybody from seeing your items in this car while it's parked. I love how it's just easy access and it's not attached to the hatch. Now, let me go ahead and put this back down. One touch, it comes down automatically by itself. Now, coming lower, you'll notice you have the AMG Performance Exhaust System, which features flaps that can be controlled by AMG Dynamic Select in the car, and that opens and closes the flaps to escalate or de-escalate the sounds. Let's have a listen. Now, 
what's underneath the hood of the GLE 53? Powering this car is a three liter turbocharged six cylinder engine producing 435 horsepower. Now this car also gets the Mercedes EQ boost system. So what is that? That is an integrated starter generator that has been sandwiched in between the engine and the transmission. And that's gonna provide additional boost while that turbo spools up, giving you linear acceleration. So the performance on this car is crazy. Linear, no turbo lag. Now this engine is also connected to a nine speed automatic transmission. Your zero to 60 is gonna be in just 5.2 seconds for this SUV, which is incredible. Now, what are some of the benefits of the Mercedes-Benz EQ boost system? Well, one, you're getting increased efficiency, so your mileage and fuel economy is gonna be better, but also, when you do the eco start-stop mode, when the car starts and stops, it eliminates the jitter you feel in traditional cars. You know, the first generation cars that had that eco start-stop system. When you stopped at a light and took your foot off the brake, the car would vibrate a bit when it starts back up so you can go. In this car, you won't feel that at all. Another key benefit are your traditional engine ancillaries, such as your AC compressor and water pump. Those are traditionally belt driven in cars, but since this has the EQ boost system, they're now powered by electricity. Let's go ahead and check out the interior of this vehicle. Sitting in this car, you realize that this is truly a refresh. If you compare the interior of the GLE 43 to this new 53, it's gonna look absolutely prehistoric. Starting at the top of the dash, you have black Napa leather, smooth to the touch. You have dual displays here. And you also have your new Mercedes-Benz user experience system incorporated in this car as well. So already you're getting a lot more technology than you did in the GLE 43. I love how clear and vibrant these displays are as well. You know, they're touchscreen now, and I really love how Mercedes is now incorporating touchscreen in their cars. The touchscreen in this car is just extremely responsive. Now, I mentioned you have the Mercedes-Benz user experience. How can you use that? Well, you can simply request the car to do certain things while you're driving, which prevents you from being distracted while behind the wheel. So if I wanna know the outside temperature, I'd say, hey Mercedes. How can I help? What's the temperature outside? The outside temperature is 84 degrees Fahrenheit. Just that simple. And you can use it to do things such as change the temperature in the car, turn on your heated seating or your ventilated seating. There's just all sorts of things you can do. If you're looking for somewhere to get some food, you can say, you know, take me to Starbucks or take me to a different restaurant, whatever you desire. So I really love how you're getting all this technology in this car. Coming lower in the dash, carbon fiber trim that is beautiful i think everything should be made out of carbon fiber so when it's used in trims and cars i just absolutely fall in love with it lower you have your controls your air conditioning system you have two cup holders usb type c ports and then a trackpad in the center to control your infotainment system if you want as well multiple ways of controlling the same item in the car is the name of the game nowadays so you can control the infotainment system via your voice commands this trackpad or your steering wheel buttons as well. Now, speaking of the steering wheel, this features the AMG Performance steering wheel with the flat bottom. That steampunk design you're seeing in a lot of AMG vehicles now, it just looks absolutely gorgeous. It has perforated leather on the sides and smooth leather on the top and bottom. It just feels amazing. Now you have two large paddles behind the steering wheel in case you wanna shift in manual mode which is a way I strongly recommend if you're driving an AMG vehicle, gives you more of an experience. But you know, the left is to downshift and the right is to upshift. And they, the quality of the materials just feels nice in your hands. Now behind the steering wheel, of course, you have that digital instrument cluster, fully configurable. Depending on what mode you're in, you can change the way it illustrates the information that you have presented. Now the seats are absolutely comfortable. They feature a diamond stitch design with black Napa leather with Dynamica inserts and then again, AMG branding on the seats. They are truly beautiful. Comfortable as well. Again, three levels of heating and cooling and ample side bolstering for when you're driving this car aggressively. Again, this is an SUV that's meant to give you a more dynamic experience. This isn't your traditional SUV. So everything is gonna be geared a little bit more towards the sports side than found in the traditional SUV. Coming over to the door panels, again, black Napa leather, beautiful carbon fiber trim, your seat controls, 
buttons for your heating and cooling and a button that allows you to control the passenger side seat from the driver's seat. I love that feature in these cars. I have OCD, so when I'm in a car like this or a convertible, especially convertibles, I can't stand when the driver's side seat isn't aligned with the passenger seat. So if you have that problem too, you can easily control that from the driver's side seat in this car. Coming lower, you have an aluminum door handle, an unlock and lock button, controls for all four windows and side view mirrors as well, and of course, storage on the bottom. Now, I also wanna make mention that this car features the rubber studded aluminum pedals, and that also just ties in well with the interior theme here. Love the touches on the interior of this car. Let's go ahead and check out the back. So one thing about the GLE Coupe, if you noticed, when I got in the back, I had to duck my head. You gotta watch out for that low roof line. I'm about 5'11 or six foot. Once I get inside the car, there's still plenty of headroom here, so I don't feel cramped at all. Now sitting in the back, the seats in the back are extremely comfortable. Again, same touches as they are up front. You have the diamond stitching with the Dynamica inserts. The black Napa leather is just so smooth to the touch. It's just amazing, it feels amazing. If you get this car, get it with the Napa leather. Now, sitting in the back, one thing you'll notice, you can take full advantage of this huge panoramic roof. This allows for plenty of light to be in the cabin so you don't feel like you're cramped, especially in cars with black leather interior. Um, it just provides tons of lighting in the cabin and I love that. Again, another awesome feature. Now the door panels in the back, also covered with that black Napa leather. You have the carbon fiber inserts, great contrast with this Burmester speaker system here and then you have the aluminum door handles controls for your windows and then of course storage on the bottom of the door as well overall the seating in the back is comfortable adults could sit back here for quite a long time if you want to take this car on a road trip you do have usb in the back as well overall it's just an amazing place to be so that was a brief look at the new 2021 mercedes amg gle 53 4matic plus coupe long name i know if you don't like this rakish roof line the traditional mercedes amg gle 53 suv is available as well the non-coupe version but what an amazing vehicle the performance is amazing as well now in a separate video we'll take this car out on a test drive and we'll do driving impressions on it as well i would like to give a special thanks to my friend jesse cannon wallace here at atlanta classic cars if you find yourself interested in this vehicle i'll leave her information in the video description below Thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.